Hello and welcome back to the Humbrol YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Humbrol Matte Coat, Satin Coat and Gloss Coat. These three enamel based varnishes have been a long term fixture in the Humbrol product range and in this video we're going to show you how easy they are to use and exactly what they can achieve. All three of these varnishes can be thinned with Humbrol enamel thinners, enabling them to be applied either with a regular paintbrush or sprayed through an airbrush. To get started we're going to apply a simple gloss coat over this Airfix FW190A8 using an airbrush. First we're going to decant some of the gloss coat into a small plastic container and then we're going to add Humbrol enamel thinners until the gloss coat is thin enough to spray through our airbrush. Depending on your own airbrush setup, it may take some experimentation until you reach the correct consistency of varnish to spray successfully. Once the correct consistency has been achieved, a layer of the varnish is simply airbrushed onto the surface of the model, to a point where it's heavy enough to self level, but not so heavy that it will obscure the surface detail, such as those recessed panel lines. After allowing that first coat of gloss coat to dry completely, you can see a shiny finish starting to emerge on the surface of this model, but to achieve a high gloss finish, we're going to need a second and maybe a third coat of the varnish. The process is simply repeated, allowing complete drying time between coats until a high gloss finish is achieved. If we take a look up close you can see how the gloss coat has left us with a very smooth and shiny surface to our previously flat paint job. This surface is also now perfectly prepared for the application of our decals using Humbrol decal fix to help snug them down. The smooth gloss prevents any air from being trapped underneath the markings, which causes the common problem known as silvering. The gloss coat also helps washes to flow around recessed details for when you're applying your weathering. Let's take a look at brush application of the varnish now, and we're simply going to transfer some of the varnish to a palette, and then apply a small amount of enamel thinners to create a smooth mixture which will self level when it's brushed onto the surface of the model. By using satin coat in this way, we can create an interesting variation in surface finish between the main body of this Airfix Mini Cooper and the body kit and plastic trim on the sides. We can also dilute some gloss coat down with enamel thinners and use this to enhance the shine of the main body of the vehicle. The mixture is simply brushed on and allowed to self level and it will dry to a high gloss finish. Now that both of the areas of varnish are completely dry, you can see the very noticeable difference in surface finish that the gloss coat and satin coat have created. Using varnish in this way is an excellent method for varying the look of your paint jobs to replicate different materials in use on the real thing. On certain models, a gloss finish just isn't desirable when the model is complete. Here we've got an Airfix King Tiger that's been made glossy to apply washes, but now we want to take that shine away and replace it with a flat surface ready for some weathering. We're going to be using Humbrol's matte coat as the final varnish coat, and we're going to repeat the process that we did with gloss coat earlier, and thin it for use with an airbrush using Humbrol enamel thinners. A single coat of varnish is airbrushed over the top, and you can see that all traces of gloss are now gone, and we're left with a flat finish that's perfect for the application of Humbrol weathering powders. So there you've seen how these three simple varnishes can help you control the surface finish of your models. We hope that this video has inspired you to get back to the workbench and get some painting done. Check back for more videos soon, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.